A very good morning racing fans and welcome back to the channel. A few tips to get started in this week. We haven't had much tips up lately but we're going to start and I'm going to try land a nice little treble today that's currently playing, paying around about 6 to 1. The first one, first leg of this comes in the 220 at Haydock in the form of a very hot combination which is the William Buick ridden Charlie Appleby joined Changing Colours who's 8 to 11 short enough in the betting not one for betting on singles really but as to boost an acre this looks a very promising horse it's an 8 runner race on soft ground the soft ground would be a little bit of a concern but this horse definitely has a lot of class it was second at Yarmouth in a very hot race the first facial road I think it's pronounced well that's joined by John and Thirty Gosden, and I think that's one of their two year olds for Royal Ascot that was pretty sweet on this horse before, and that looked very impressive. The second was which was changing colours that day, ran pretty well, I think, didn't fully know its job and was closing at the finish. It definitely did its best work late home, and the third was is probably open to the most improvement and showed it is a huge horse for Mark Johnson improved when winning easily at Musselboro by eight and a half lengths. I think there's a bit of star quality in that form. I think the top three are above average and I think this horse should be winning with the benefit of the experience. So is a little bit of money around for the Kevin Ryan joined Captain Winters, Andrea Atzini taking the ride at 10 to 3 but I just think changing colours will have too much experience for these rivals and too much class as well. The next tip is in the 428 at Font, well over the jumps at this time of the year. I must be insane, but I think I found a pretty good bet. Sam Twist and Davis keeps the ride, and he was pretty generous on this horse last time. He didn't go for the full Sam Twist and Davis drive on its third run to get the handicap mark. You think this? he was just trying to teach, teach the job how to jump because it was only its third Collier start over the hurdles. It was campaigned on the flat quite a lot and it had a rating of 68 yeah 68 by the end of its uh, of its flat collier and usually there's people say the 40 pound 45 pound thing the 45 pounds better over hurdles than on the flat that isn't always true but I think by and large it is quite accurate so I think if you add the 40 45 pounds that gets it up to alerting in their 100s 110 so this means it could be well handicapped going off a mark of 95 and that latest run at Southwell travelled into it so well against a horse clear the runway won easily enough in the end that's alerted 129 now and he's going to be more in the future restitution the second has also bolted in since off a mark of 100 13 there some pretty decent horses in that race so wasn't given the toughest time beaten 11 lengths sent off a huge price as well I think the lighting was on the wall but I think he ran a lot better than expected so he'd be the second leg of the yakka then the third one comes at Kempton in the six o'clock hollow scene William Haggis Tom Marquand have napped this napped the Haggis Marquand combination the last twice and they've both won in the form of Purple Pear and Barish Korova. I'm hoping that this horse can do the same quite simply. There's quite a few newcomers that could be above average, but I just think with the experience this had, it won at Lippen over one mile, two furlongs. It goes over one mile, three furlongs today. It looked like the stepping trip for the extra furlong would definitely suit. Danny Tudor upload him, and I think he always knew that he was going to win on board this filly. He didn't have to get too serious and beat a horse of Mark Johnson's that already had an official rating of 73. That's run decent enough since as well. So I think this race is quite decent. Pulled a long way clear of the third. I think she can defy the penalty and win this. And if you look at her bleeding, she's out of Ulysses and a heaven sent. So that's a pretty good bleeding. Should be good enough to win this race and defy the penalty and that hopefully will be landing our 6-1 to one accumulator for today's race and as always thanks a lot for watching and do follow me on Twitter as well Joe McCabe 12345 because when I don't have time to get videos out I'll give some tips out on there we had one tip out yesterday and an easy 5 length winner at 9-4 to four. so do follow me on there as well but apart from that enjoy your day hopefully back a few winners and I'll see you next time